Brought to you by Belagua, the water for champions. The Black Satellites produced a sensational goal scoring performance on Monday at the New Cape Coast Sports Stadium to hammer Ethiopia by four goals to know in the second leg of the African Youth Championship qualifier. The match had been rained off on Sunday, and the Ghana Football Association, in consultation with CAF, decided to kick off the replay at 12 noon following the rainy season in Ghana. Ghana lost the first leg by two goals to one. In Addis Ababa, hence have qualified for the 2017 African Youth Championship on five goals to one aggregate. Former House of Oak midfielder Yuri Asante is there. Asante was one of the stars of the local game before his departure for Tunisia side Etoile Sportive du Sahel that moved the North workout, leading to several loan spells in Tunisia, Romania before ending a move to Bahraini. The 24-year-old attacking midfielder became a standout for Accra House of Oak in the 2011-2012 season before earning his move abroad. He also graduated from the University of Ghana. John Pinto's hearing for alleged assault has been adjourned after state prosecutor failed to produce his docket today. The Accra Seki Court adjourned the case to Tuesday, June 14, 2016. The former Fulham defender's charges include stealing, offensive conduct, and assault of a police officer after he was reported to have slapped the East Legon District Police Commander in the right eye during interrogation in the case of car theft reported against him by his wife. Head coach of the Black Stars of Ghana, Abraham Grant, has stated he will select Sule Montari if he is good enough. The 31-year-old midfielder was banned from the senior national team of Ghana during the 2014 FIFA World Cup tournament in Brazil due to indiscipline. The player has, however, apologized to the Ghana Football Association and made himself available for selection. Balakwa, the water for champions.